in Russia, despite the depreciation of the rubles against key currencies like the euros and the US dollar, what we see in Russia is that it's not so gloomy after all. The market value sales of personal accessories experience a growth of 2% in local currency, although the market value sales of personal accessories experience a decline of 13% in US dollars. The decline, however, could be even stronger, uh, although it was smoothened by two positive effects, factors that brought more consumer base to Russian personal accessories um, industry. First of all is the decline of foreign trips of Russians. As prior to 2015, uh, Russians preferred to shop for personal accessories abroad, having more free time, better choice and better pricing, of course. Uh, but with the decline of local currencies, the foreign trips became uh, less uh, affordable and two uh, very popular destinations such as Egypt and Turkey were closed, uh, which brought more Russians to um, local market. Another positive factor was that foreign tourists discovered Russia as a beneficial country for shopping, especially for luxury personal accessories. Since the Russian ruble um, was devaluated, the equivalent prices in euro and dollar became more attractive. Uh, thus, for example, the price of Cartier women's tank solo watch uh, in Russia is 100 euro uh, more affordable than in France. Moreover, for Chinese tourists, Russia is more geographically beneficial to travel for shopping. So Russia still remains one of the key markets that personal accessories brands are expanding into. What we see is luxury international brand Tiffany & Co opened its first store in Russia in 2013 and with Hermes expanding its store space and with Bulgari welcoming its first store in Russia in 2015. This actually reflects the brand's foresight in the potential of the Russian market in the consumption of discretionary items like personal accessories and luxury goods. So with the Russian economy moving towards a more market-based exchange regime in order to stabilize the economy, and with the Russian economy being one of the world's top 12 economies in the world, what we see is that Russia would still remain one of the key markets that brands should continue to tap into.